Hey, once again, it's your boy Dayday for Triple D Game coming at you with another FS22. You know how we do it. Let's get to it. Alright, ladies and gents, welcome to the Alpines. We are in Erlingrat. Starting our fresh new series. Um, we're going to dive into a little bit of everything. Uh, probably, well, as you see, we got some cows. Um, to be honest with you, I never did animals or none, cows, none of that stuff in FS19. So we're going to dive into it here. Um, so let's get, <laughs> let's get to it. So obviously, you know, we, we had to, we had to hit them with the custom, see the mirrors, look at the mirrors. Yeah, we had to. We had to hit him with the custom truck. That's a given. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got our tension belts, and inside, <laughs> inside, we got some goodies. Yo, yo, obviously, triple D out. Haha, <laughs> I love it. All right, but what we're gonna do is I honestly don't know if I can back this thing in there <laughs> for some reason it wasn't back in um, Man look at that It was something else What was it? I can't remember it or something else I was supposed to be showing you guys. But anyhow, um, so our cows, they got to eat. They need some water. So why not? Why not use our custom truck, right? So uh, we're going to hop to it like real quick, guys. So we'll probably time lapse this. Um, I'm going to get some grass cut and then... Uh, Get some hay and silage out of it. That way we can keep the cows fed. I don't know. We might time lapse. We might not. Who knows? Oh, that's what I wanted to check out. It should be on, but I want to make sure it's on. Because it's not working in a truck. Alright, so. That truck is not manual, obviously. I didn't think it would be. Check out, check out our turn signals. That's great. And we do have, uh, if I can get it to work, how about it? Oh, okay. It was working. It just ain't moving it. It's all good. I have not yet found out how to turn those icons off. I did. I was blowing my own eardrums out. Make me talk louder. <laughs> I haven't figured out how to turn them icons off yet. Um... I need to do that because I don't like the icons. 
Just like, uh, I gotta hop out for this. Just like our hub, boom. I can turn it on and off, one touch of the button now. That is great, love it. I think we can get some water here. Again, bear with me, guys, because I have, I'm telling you, I've never, I've never, uh, done anything with these animals. <laughs> Alright, start feeling. Um. Wow, it actually doesn't give me a controller a controller command to start filling. So we're gonna have to do that with the keyboard. See, that's something I might have to uh, get in there and take care of. As far as the um, key bindings. I'm hoping the snowplow actually hooks to this thing. Wow, this is taking forever. Come on, come on. Like, I kind of wanted to play one of the other maps, one of the other new maps, but I started this in the last game. Um, Erlingret, I believe is how it's pronounced anyhow, but I never, I never finished it, so we're going to redeem that right here. Oh, there we go. I was going to see if I can figure out how to get this thing to, to work. Man, it still doesn't give me... Oh, there we go. Same buttons as last game. See, but it's not hooked up to my controller. So, I still got to... I got to do it from the steering wheel. So, I got to get that fixed. As far as key bindings go, you know. <laughs> All right. I have to hop out to do the hub where it does weird stuff. Let's see what our pens actually need. I know they needed water. All right, so we're good on water. Um, productivity, I think that's all what they do. So we need um, some type of food. We might we might end up having to go buy some. I'd hate to do that. Like I want to go do some logging or something of the sort, but. I tried converting some mods too, guys. Uh, for the most part, I got them to convert over. Like, I got them in the game. But some of them don't... They have tracks. I just cannot... Get them to work. So, I gotta figure out... How to do the XML files. Um, so that way we can make that stuff work. There was a mower I wanted to bring in. And I couldn't I couldn't get it. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to mess around with it guys and figure it out. There's a few things I'd like to bring in. See I can't get it to go in backwards because I got like a like a lift kit on the back of it. 
and there's like a hump going in the garage there, so it won't let me back it in. It let me pull it in though. Obviously. Yo. All right. Try not to bore you guys too much here. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, so. I'd rather not use this dinky little thing, but we're going to, I guess. It's not very loud, is it? Check this out, guys. Look at that. Look at the time. The time on there is actually real uh, right with the time, like on the hub. I'll show you what it does. See, it just kicks us into here if we try to turn the hub on and off from inside the machine. Oop. See, I like this because I can zoom backwards and actually see all around me. I love this. Well, we definitely need a bigger mower. Alright, but we're going to make some hay. And we are going to make... Um, we'll probably have to just buy straw for right now. But we're going to make some hay. And we are going to make some silage. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's see what we got. What do we own? What do we got? What do we got? Farmland. So we only own this piece. Which I kind of figured that. Zero fields. Uh, so you're kind of in trouble. Just like 19. Alright, so we own this plot right here. And then the plot behind us. We're back there. See, I've all, I always wanted to do this, um, like the animal things. I have my own manure and all that good stuff. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm more into logging and all that, all that good stuff. But I do enjoy baling and all this stuff. But I'm gonna dive into this uh, animal work and that. So I think I'm gonna make this here. Um, We'll do this silage, and then we'll do this here as hay. Yes, that's what we'll do. So we'll do hay first. Uh-oh, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. I was trying to zoom in. Can't tell if the thing's running or not. It's so quiet. See, I gotta get in there because it put all the um, controls on the steering wheel instead of on my controller. So I gotta get in there and figure that out. Uh, let's turn that back on for a second. Turn on mower. I do it with this uh, the controller. I see it's letting me do everything but turn it on. So I'm gonna have to use this, which kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get all that fixed. I won't do it to you guys right now, though. See, that's one mod I got to convert over to. Um, 
what is it? What's it called? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. See, I can switch gears. Even though this is automatic, I can still use my gear shifter there and uh, shift the gears. But uh, what is it called? Real mowing. That's it. Get that converted over so we can actually um, cut down bushes and that. With the mowers. Alright guys, I ain't gonna bore you any longer. We're gonna go ahead and time lapse this. Let me hop out and turn this off real quick, this hub. Alright. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy.
All right, ladies and gents, that's it for this one. So, um, in the next one, we will go down there and get it all bailed up. And um, then we will jump up to this field up here behind us and get that all cut and start working that into silage so we can start making total mix, mix <laughs> total total mix rations for the cows and then uh we'll go from there so um don't forget to join the triple d operation crew as a new operator um But that's about it, guys. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see what's coming, what's next, hit that subscribe button. And I'm um, out. Deuces.